As many Australians are thinking about winding down for the summer, political leaders are now ramping up, readying their teams for a federal election. Voters will head to the polls within eight months and the campaign is expected to include challenges never faced before due to the pandemic. Winning what many thought was unwinnable. At the 2019 election, Scott Morrison kept the faith. I have always believed in miracles. He's now hoping Australians still believe in him and his government. But at the moment, they're in a, a, a precarious position. After two years dogged by disease and disaster, voters will go to the polls by the 21st of May. Today, the leaders were readying their teams for a close race. There is work to do federally uh, and to ensure we build on our efforts over these challenging past three years. The decisions we make now will set the course for our future. What's unique about this campaign is how different the dynamic is going to be in different states. Premiers have loomed large during the pandemic and experts say the federal coalition could face trouble in some Labor states. I think voter sentiment is quite volatile at the moment. The government holds only a one-seat majority and has lost a seat in a redistribution while Labor picked one up. The coalition is also at risk of losing seats in WA and Victoria and is hoping to offset those with gains in New South Wales. The Liberals cannot afford to have a net loss of seats whatsoever. They also cannot afford to ignore a growing chorus of voices. I think all the parties need to understand that there is uh, a powerful mood in the country for change. People are unhappy with politics as it is today. Dozens of grassroots groups have emerged, mostly in inner city coalition held seats. Many are pushing for independent candidates. An independent doesn't have to toe the party line. And most are issuing the same warning. People want to see a concrete measurable plan as to how emissions reductions are going to be achieved. It's widely expected the Prime Minister will call the election for next year in the hope the delayed vaccine rollout will become a distant memory for voters and lockdowns a thing of the past. But with life still a long way from normal, it's unlikely we'll see any of this. Walking. Ah! <laughs> On the way out. And with a pandemic election, only one thing is certain. It's going to be a campaign like no other. Fiona Willen, Nine News.